Alright, hello everyone, this is G Mac of the Backyard Solar Power Company. It's real dark in here right now. It's 6.30 in the morning here, and uh, it's raining outside. Now, I just wanted to make this recording because I want to see how much solar power this thing collects throughout the day when it's raining outside. See, um, our batteries, my batteries right now are sitting at 12.5 here at the cabin. Okay, and uh, let's step outside here real quick. As you can see, might be able to hear. I guess you can't really see it. It's raining. Um, one neat thing: is these little purple flowers that came up, part of the butterfly collection that I put out. I can't believe how many of them are up. I don't remember planting this many. But they're pretty cool. But anyway, over here, as you can see, this is my charge controller. Those two little lights right there. It's so like I said, it's too dark out here to really see anything. But uh, the green light on the left represents that my batteries are, or that the solar panels are working. And the light on the right, the yellow one, states that my batteries are kind of low, which they are. They're at 12.5. These batteries only hold 13, not 14 like regular batteries. It's, I guess that's what happens when you buy them at Walmart. That's what I've learned. But anyway, so like I said, it's 6.30 in the morning. I'm going to check back here. I'll be back this afternoon, probably around 1.00. To see if this increases any while it's raining. I'm just real curious at how much power these multi crystal panels can produce in the rain. And I've got prime day right here to try it out. Supposedly it's going to rain all day. We'll find out when I come back for lunch out here to the cabin and see uh, what's going on. We'll see if it's increased any. I mean, it is charging. And uh, before the before the lights came on, when I first got here and fed the dog and everything, it was still dark outside and I was at 12.5, so it's not really producing any extra power right now, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Alright, um, I'll see you uh, um, probably in about seven hours. Alright. Alright everyone, we're back now. It has been uh, seven and a half hours. Enough hours and the batteries are still charging. Now they're not going to be at 13 whenever it's all said and done, but right now they are charging. It's went up 0.5. It's not raining anymore outside here in the cabin. Yeah, it's Oh, look, there's baby deer out there. Look at a little baby deer. Oh. Look at freezing. It's like, you can't see me. <laughs> this out of one with threat. Check it out. Not very good recording. But, as we can see, it's no longer raining. And it's still charging. We don't have any overcharging going. That one light just always shows yellow, though. All right. Well, I'll come back by tonight after work. Um, I'll do it way later, probably about 11 tonight, just so we can see how much it charged up. It'll be nice and dark then. It'll be after my night job. But all right, everybody. Well, see you later. Two baby deer in the yard. Too bad I won't focus better.
They don't know what to think of me. Hello everyone, we're back again. It is now about 11.30 at night. Remember this thing was at 12.05 this morning at 6 o'clock. So in, in the rain, see it's flashing back and forth. In a cloudy day on the rain, I only collected almost, remember it went up to 13? It went up to 13.5 last week. I didn't get that part recorded. Here, 12.6. That's how much it went up just today. See, so the cloudy day doesn't, it does power some, but it does not collect a lot. So, I went from 12.5 this morning. 12.6 tonight. And that's without burning anything all day. But there it is. Uh, cloudy day does not produce a lot of power with 12 solar panels. And it's also charging up five batteries, so I don't know if it'd been any different with one battery. That's going to have to be another experiment that I do. Alright, so that's it. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video, next experiment.